go. Recording has started. Right, so what we're going to work with tonight is tonight we're going to work with preparations for of a photo. And I think well, we must probably in the process do the preparations to this week and then next week we will start with the digitizing. And what I would like to do is, is I would like to work with line art. No full stitches at all at any point in time. Uh, but we need to find the photo and see if we can work, work with the photo and get the photo um, to be to be in this in a way that we can possibly work with. Now I've got two software programs on my side. The one that I've got here is part of the Zara, which is Zara Picture Editor, editor and I can do certain tweaking with it, but not much. Fairly similar to the tweaking that I can do within the Embed program. But I've asked Candy if she would like to show us what is the features that Photoshop, if I'm right, Candy Photoshop? Yes. Yeah, Photoshop can, can basically do with the same photo. So she's got the same photo there. So I'm going to give control over to, to Candice. And then we just go and say change presenter quickly. And then we will have a look and see what happens on her screen. And she's going to show us what... Phil? Yes, go for it. What are your goals that you want Candy to do? I would I would like to see if it's possible and um, I would like to see what are the possibilities of actually taking this photo that we've got, this line that was on the screen now, and bring in bring out only certain features in such a way that we can trace those features and not bother about all the fluff in between. Um, I would we would like to do a line art of this line. And I, I don't know anything about Photoshop, so I can't at this stage tell you what Photoshop can or can't do. I think what we need to look at is play with the play with it by ear and go through the possibilities and let Candy show us what we can do. Is um, my screen up for everybody yet? Yeah, the screen is up, but I'm just not sure if the screen is actually yes. on. Which one is? Up? I can hear you. I can see. You, I can see it. Okay, so you have my Photoshop. I'm running, um, actually, the Photoshop CS4 suite. Um, very, very powerful. I mean, you can do anything with this program. Um, if you want to, like, sharpen this area, you can actually go to infinity. See how just bringing up natural, it just kind of bursted it? Mm -hmm. And then you want line art? There you got line art. Okay, I'm just waiting. I'm, I mean, I'm, it, I'm it just just absolutely. Waiting for the screen to change a bit so that we can see. But yes, it's okay. Kind of what we can bring up and 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 because at the what we would like to have is at this stage. If I look at the picture, oh, I can see there. You can see there's some changes taking place. Now. If we look at the picture, there's some there's some. Um, some of his main on the left at the bottom corner there, which is there, and the black is basically showing through it. Yes, that area where you're working, where you're now. If you go a little bit up and we look at around the face, there's a lot of golden hair there. And we won't do all there. We're definitely not going to digitize each and every hair that's there, because then we're just running back into a full situation. So... Is mm -hmm. it possible for the program to reduce some of the quality of the, not the quality of the design, some of the size or the, or the background of the design without losing the actual line in the process? And I think that might be about okay. the question that I'm looking for, Candice. Sure. Uh, this is what we're starting with. Um, I mean, you can actually do a crop. As it's taken, yes. All right? So you could crop it to about anywhere you want it, move it around. Okay. Is that, is that about what you're looking for? Uh, it's, yeah, the cropping is, cropping is fine. We can take a bit of the black out so that we've got more of the line if we can. So we can go from the right. Well, what, I could, uh -huh. what I could do, mm -hmm. what we could do is take this part down here if you're seeing where we're working and you could we could go in and lighten that part if you would like 
Okay, show yeah, me. I think he wants to do it in patches. Yeah. Show me what you can do because I would like, I've never used the software before. So I'm, I'm completely newbie tonight and I'm in your hands. Let me just open and say, ask it to Gwen and ask it to Gwen. Gwen, I'm just going to open for you quickly. Hi, Gwen. Wow, it is lightning it, Candy. Yeah, well, this is the, one of the effects that we work with, which is um, kind of dodge and burn. I do this with dogs all the time. Um, I work with dog show pictures. So there's always either too much light or a dog is in the shadows, and you have to actually go in and lighten up. I mean, you could just kind of really brighten him up, get his ear behind. And if it pixelates, there you kind of step backwards and unpixelate it. But if you're looking for um, something to pick up lines, mm -hmm. um, we can actually really get quirky with it because the sky is the limit. Um, okay. Like I said, Photoshop is the most powerful program I've ever worked with in my life. And the tool that you'll see it, I mean. What is the tool's name that you, you use? I mean, um, actually, I'm unsharpening the mask, which actually takes it right into a, a raw form. Okay. okay. Um, so this um, is really heavily, right now, pixelated. Mm -hmm. But like I said, if you're trying to pick up nothing but line art, you do need to see the crispness around the ear mm -hmm. and the eyes, I'm zooming in on that eye, um, to pick up, see the, the, like the third eyelid, almost. Yeah. Um, I mean, there, and if anybody ever needs work done on a photo, give it to me. I mean, I... So I, you're not necessarily enhancing the photo. You're doing what Sandra did, which is to give us highlights and high contrast and so oh, on. Oh, I'm so changing that, the photo. I've got it right down but to the But so Sufmato can pick it up? Yes. Mm -hmm. But like um, when, when you are working with photographs, especially digital, you have got to save a picture in the highest megabyte you possibly can. Um, because you see down in here, when you start lightening things, this is because of the picture um, was not taken in a real high format. See all this pixelation? You can mm -hmm. only do so much, and you will lose it. So when you're taking a photo, and you're, you've got it in your mind that you want to reproduce it anywhere, um, you have got to take it at a real high resolution, as high as your camera will go. Like I work with you know, six to ten megabytes when we're working with um, dog fo photos. Megabyte. So when I get them, yeah, megabytes, each photo. Okay. And when I get done with it, it's ten plus megabytes when we send it out to be printed on, on uh, paper. So but there is a lot that, you know, you can take like this uh, photo came to me, and I mean, what 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 did you send? It was like eighty three. Yeah, it wasn't KBs. big. It wasn't big. It's it was very. About, very it's only very about small. just be, just smaller than an A four size or a, or a, or a mm -hmm. size. I mean, here here we can change radius, um, and even bring out more line art. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the sort of stuff Sufmato picks up, though. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that is the important thing there. Uh, is that so let's go. Know. Let's go get real. I mean, here. I'll oh wait. wow. I yeah. mean, you, you could go like I said, and that's not even. Here's here's Max. This <laughs> will glare you to death. Yeah, but but that part that you've got. If you want top of his head now, I think is a little bit too much now, eh? Because now you start. Oh, I like this. It does bring some information out. Is there character? It brings it? a lot. I mean, you just start with, you want to hold there? 
yeah, hold it for us there. Let's just have, have a quick chat with the, with the group and find out from the group. If you look, and I see Sandra is online as well tonight. If we look at this, is there enough detail for us to can see, to see the actual detail of the animal without all the fill-in portions in between?